Hello and welcome to Dragon Roll TV. My name is Demix and this is Total War Warhammer 2. We are playing our episode 5 of our crack Kadrin campaign today and uh, we're picking up where we left off last time and let's jump straight into it. So last time we had just defeated Sigvid Barakmir, as you can see, and taken Waldenhof and we moved to occupy it because I believe that this time we are strong enough to hold it after that glorious victory against Manfred last time. So, uh, Eshin's next on the hit list. I think this is the turn it is. This is the turn that we actually took it, so I need to uh, pass my turn before we advance to Eshin, but that's that's next on the hit list. Meanwhile, let's just check our buildings, make sure everything is, is building that can be built, and check diplomacy. All good. Pass the turn there. I feel like I always start every episode by ending the turn. Maybe I should do it at the end of the last turn. <laughs> Uh, of the last episode, I don't know. Don't know which way is better. Uh, for those of you wondering um, why I am doing more Karat Kadrin and I've sort of left the the Lothurn campaign, or waiting for the next episode of that, um, because of the new DLC, uh, the the mod that uses that that uh, um, sorry, the mod that I'm using uh, needs to be updated. SFO, it's not updated yet, so I can't continue the campaign until after they've completed updating it for this new patch. So as soon as they as soon as they update it, I will do a couple of episodes to make up for not having any. So sorry about that. <clears throat> That's good. Peace between Talbakland and Ostland. I said last time, I want the human factions to uh, be on the same side because there are too many forces of darkness in this world, and we have to defeat them. And we're not going to do that by fighting each other. Okay, let's do this. That is a big army still already. 5, 12, plus... Whew, this is going to be a big deal. And Eshin, that's not a weak... That's not a weak uh, <clears throat> garrison either. Could do a lightning strike here. That would have been awesome. Uh, I don't think we can wait. We can't afford to wait here, so let's go for it. Okay, the game reckons we're on an even footing. <clears throat> I'm glad. <laughs> let's do it. I think this is going to be another uh, stand back and shoot fight, obviously. But now we should have the infantry to stand up to it, so hopefully this will be quite clean, actually. I have a few war machines. Vargeists are going to be tough. Eh, not that tough, actually. I'm thinking of SFO. These these units in SFO are just crazy strong, but actually, it shouldn't be too big a deal. We've got the Slayers. We'll keep them in the back. Their reinforcements are coming from back there. That's fine. We're going to go in this corner over here to avoid being flanked. I'm not going to corner camp it. Just, uh, you know... Just stay near the corners to reduce the <clears throat> flying potential that they have. As I said, I don't like corner camping unless I absolutely have to. Like we did last time. And i got to take better care of my runesmith because I feel like every, every battle he nearly dies. <laughs> Far too many close calls. You know what, I might actually stay near the corner though. I mean, that is effectively corner camping. Let's do it. Okay. Spread out here. And then let's get some slayers over here. And some slayers over here. We'll have Ingram right here, and we'll have the Runesmith a little bit further back. Uh, let's spread these guys out into a much more effective formation. Oh, that is totally wrong. Oh, that rock's preventing them. Okay. That works for me. <laughs> it was like a bark, wasn't it? Ho! Oh. Stop us. Get moving. 
Okay, that is a good looking formation. Let's put these guys in guard mode. Slayer's here to watch this flank. Slayer's here for the flank. Uh, I'm not sure what it probably over here. Put this runesmith over here just because these guys have less men in their unit. Need a little bit of extra support. The Dawi are ready. Looking good. <laughs> I I actually never get over how good the these look, considering how many models there are. They look really good. You would be happy with that in some sort of role playing go game, wouldn't you? If that was the graphics, if you're walking about in third person or, or first person like this, and this is what people look like, you'd be perfectly happy with that. And to think that how many units are on the field, it's just inc incredible. All right, let's speed this up. Stop faffing about units and how they look. Let's put some quarrelers like this. Put some quarrelers like this. And then one straight behind this rock, so he's got a kind of nice break line there. In fact, you know what? I'm going to put another one over here and put this one behind the rock here. Oh, they're about to get hit hard over here. Move to really close that gap. Move back a little bit just so that they're they don't manage to push through that line and hit them. Definitely the cavalry first. Actually, one one on the bats, the rest on the cav. Go! Oh, thank goodness! I was going to say he's going to break through that. That's not going to be good if he does. Oh, they are breaking through. Crap! Did not expect. Bring these slayers over here. Oh, wow! That AI, though. That AI, though. They're right in amongst our archers. Wow, we. Okay, bring the slayers back. Holy crap. That's not good. <laughs> Where are my slayers? Get over here, lads. Our archers are getting torn a new one. This is not good. Move forward a little bit there. Kill these guys. You guys, get in on the Vargeist. That's fine. Oh, crap. This is not good at all. Okay, I wish I'd corner camped it. <laughs> These guys are getting massacred, as you'd expect. Let's move these guys here. Let's move these guys forward a little bit as well. Cryptors. Slayers are going to cut these guys to pieces. There we go. The Slayers are doing their job. The Slayers should be on these Cryptors. As with you. How are you guys getting on? Okay, you're doing fine. Let's kill these Vargeists. You kill these. Who's this? Where's our Runesmith? He's okay. Right, starting to look good after that initial upset, <laughs> and it was a big deal, but we're doing okay now. Let's finish these guys off. Good job. Let's get this Ruin of Wrath and Ruin on the Konigsting Stalkers. Come on guys, finish them off please. This is not good. Shouldn't be losing archers. Slayers, get in here. How are we looking? Ingram's going to be absolutely fine there. Let's start smashing this to pieces because it's just Ingram holding that. So, these slayers in here. There, this is going to get broken soon as well. Let's get rid of these Vargeists. Um. Got a spellcaster here too that we really could do with taking down. Where are their lords? That's who we need to focus on now. Okay, Ungrim, take that lord out. Let's move our Runesmith in here so they don't break through and attack our uh, archers. But it might be too late. Oh no, he's, he's managed. They're engaging him as well. Nope, he's not. Damn it. Yes, he is. Okay, good stuff. Let's fire on these Crypt Ghouls. Uh, Ungrim is getting slaughtered. 
Not good. How are we doing over on the right flank? We are doing absolutely fine on the right flank. Let's, uh, what we're doing, no, I would say absolutely fine. Maybe decent. <laughs> we're doing decent. Oh no. Oh, that's terror break. That's okay. That's not good though. That's really not good. How's Ungram doing? He's getting massacred. We might lose this here. And that's really not good. It's looking really bad right now. Okay, it's looking really bad. Regret not corner camping. <laughs> Come on, Ungram. We need to kill some lords here. We need to kill some lords here, big time. Oh, we let Crypt Horrors through here as well? Very stupid. Take this out, please. Or take these guys out. Just anything, really. Ingram and his death blow. Finish these lords off, come on. If you can, shoot them, then shoot them, please. There we go. Ingram's gonna win that. Let's take this corpse cart out. Actually, you guys get on these crypt horrors, please. Because as soon as that lord dies, Ingram's gonna be fine. There we go. That's a big deal. That could turn the tide of the battle for us, maybe. Good job, good job. I don't know where these Cryptors are going, but we're getting them killed. Let's get Ingram in here. One more Lord to kill with him. That'll do. Good job. Let's take these guys out. Almost out of our ammo. And that's really going to hurt us. Let's smash this Lord up and hopefully that'll break them. I'm taking a big risk by using that extra, but he's going to do so much damage, I'm hoping it won't matter. There we go, he's massacring him. Come on, Ungram. Use that death blow, see, so below 20% health. He's got that incredible death blow ability, which is obviously helping him a lot here. Okay, um, who's... You guys get in here. Oh, no! They still have Black Knights, that's crazy. Didn't expect that. Try and get out of there. We're, we're in big trouble here. Big, big trouble. I need the Quarrelers that have ammo to get over here. You guys get over here. Ungrim, kill them. Where's the Runesmith? Come on, lads, run! If you have ammo, you need to get out of there. We need Mighty Ungram to win this. Right, you guys turn and fire. Turn and fire on these knights. Extra armor. How's Ungram doing? Hey, still doing good. 819. Fire on these knights. Kill them. Keep moving. We need to get these archers out of there. Good job, good job. Oh, these guys over here. Get back in here. <laughs> Anything you can do. No! Go here. I can deal with zombies. Zombies do not fire on zombies. Fire on grave guard with great weapons. Hell yeah, that's a good. That's a good thing to fire at. Um, skeleton warriors, not a big deal. Grave guard with great weapons. Fire on them. How are we doing, Ungram? Oh dear, not good. Not good. <laughs> I'm just praying for Ingram's death blow to save the day, to be honest. This is crazy. Try and run if you can. Oh, 
Oh, Hungram's not going to last, is he? He's not going to last. I don't, I'm not using this. There's no point in the extra damage. It won't help him. He'll just die quicker. <clears throat> Fire on the grave guard. Come on. Do it. Get even one volley. Every volley matters. No. This is not looking good. Oh no. Run. Strike out. Go. Get after these black knights. Oh god, they're going to run away. Oh dear. Come on, Ungram, I believe in you. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Run away, Rinsmith, don't die. A very dark day. Ungram will fight to the death. I'm fine with that. Let's speed it up, see how he gets on. <laughs> see if he can win the day. Probably not, he's dropping fast. Oh god, he's just not strong enough yet. I can't believe we're gonna lose! No! <laughs> this is awful! Oh my god. Should have corner camped. My god. That flank, just our archers just were not used properly. <clears throat> I thought I was being uh, smart, but they just managed to get through completely. Maybe should have just used a normal formation. Because that just messed us up. The archers really didn't get to fire properly, and that was what we what lost us it. Uh, two of their lords get to live because of that as well. Okay, good news is Runesmith didn't die. So we get to run. And we're going to have to run. Five turns, this is going to hurt. Okay. Get him. And we're going to run for it. <laughs> going to try and run for it. But I don't think we're going to get very far. Oh no, I know that he can't, I know that he can't reach. Okay, what we're going to do first of all, is we're going to pull the runesmith out so that he doesn't die in the event that this army does die. Which I think it's going to. Yeah, pull the runesmith out, get him back here. So at least he's safe. And then we're going to try and run. But to be honest, I, I can't see it. <laughs> I can't see it happening. There's no point. Move him into Walden off. So that at least he's got the garrison there as well. All the garrison's probably hurt, so it's not great. Not in a good position whatsoever after that. Moron seems appropriate. <laughs> Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to recruit a lord at Carrot Cadre and start rebuilding there. So let's get... Um, I actually like the Rune Lords, let's get him. Might as well recruit someone that I will keep later. We're going to replace this guy obviously with the uh, Slayer King as soon as, as soon as he comes back. So we need to rebuild an army. God, I didn't expect to have to start that way. That's not a good way to start. On the plus side, now we're getting 3,000 a turn, you know? <laughs> when life hands you lemons, make lemonade. That is a shame, though, because they were silver she chevron archers as well, almost gold, so big losses there. And I'm definitely going to have to fight this manually when they come and try to finish me off at Waldenhof just to do the maximum damage. So, like, oh, 
<laughs> I mean, I mean, I can't say no. I can't say no to that. How is the AI being so stupid? Sure. Sure, they'll give us 4,000 gold in peace? Yes. Yes, I will take that. <laughs> stupid AI is stupid. <laughs> I mean, they, they, maybe it was just a big giant bluff. They think, they're thinking, oh god, they just attacked us with such an army. They must have another army somewhere stored. <laughs> we can't hold off another attack like that. We better sue for peace. Well, that worked out in our favour. <laughs> of all the outcomes, I did not expect that. Not at all. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so, well, we have walled enough. Walled enough belongs to us now, I guess. Minus 31 per turn, though. I think I'll just let it rebel and lose it. I, I don't see what else I can do. I can't hold it. I'll demolish that just for the free money that it'll give. Um, and we'll pull our lord back. So now I have two lords, which is silly. I didn't want that to happen. And I also merged all those um, archers. So we lost silver, silver chevron archers when we didn't need to. So that's a shame as well, but never mind. So the thing is, we can't break that treaty now for 10 turns. So I'll probably go and try and take Mount Goombad instead. Just check diplomacy, see if there's anyone we can trade with. There's not. So yeah, it looks like we're turning our focus to Mount Gunbad for now. That's uh jump in there as well. Ah, still got it, I lost that battle. It's a close one. We've had some great battles so far in this campaign though. It was a really good one. I think it's more it's more exciting when you get some losses sometimes. It's no fun if you just keep winning. What's the point? It's not it's not a war, it's just a steamroll. But definitely could have won that if I'd played better. Definitely if I'd have actually properly corner camped, obviously. And uh I think there was no need with the amount of infantry I had for me to do the, the pillar formations. We could have just went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, which would have protected our archers better. And um, then that would have allowed us to get much more, m m way more shots off. So it won't make that mistake again. <clears throat> pillar formation is only good when we're trying to sort of keep the staying power of our infantry when it's weaker. But that we had a good infantry line there, so kind of a waste. Someone has the Sword of Cain. There we go. Chaos Cor I can deal with some Chaos Corruption right now. Can I? I don't need the money, though. I've got 20,000. So, you know what? We'll safeguard. Rune Smith. He has, sur he has survived some stuff, this guy. <laughs> He's been through a lot. Weapon strength, charge bonus. I think we'll take the weapon strength. He has been through a lot, so he has. Karakungor at level 3. No brainer. Absolute no brainer. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's just keep recruiting. Let's get to level. Oh, wow. Public order is not looking good here. But then again, next turn we'll be getting, or in two turns, I'll be building the public order building here, and then that will resolve that issue. So that's fine. Waldenoff's rebelling next turn. No problem. Don't mind. <clears throat> Should I start moving? That's what I'm thinking. Towards Mount Gumbad. Yes, I think we should start moving now. Master of Runecraft. How many got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then that leaves us five slots. We'll get two more archers and three more slayers. Or, or three more archers and two slayers. Rebellion here. Yep, no problem. <clears throat> I still can't believe that they gave us 4,000 gold for peace after they won that victory. The AI works in strange ways.
we'll be back for sure. That's for sure. But 10 turns, so that's two of them so far. 10 turns before we can break that peace treaty without affecting our reliability. <laughs> Is it weird that I enjoyed that battle so much? Even I enjoyed it more because we lost. <laughs> I, th I don't know why that makes sense, but I enjoyed it more because I lost it. It sort of made a little... Um, you know, I could have won it. I could have corner counted it and whatever or played it better, but I don't know. I like it better this way. It's turned out... It's made it more interesting. Yes, I think we've lost that. No problem. Oh, that might be a grudge in the book, though. That'd be annoying. No, it didn't. It's fine. We've just got one grudge. That's no problem. Let's keep moving. And we'll get... Three archers, and then next turn we'll get two slayers, and then we'll go to Mount Gumbad. I think that would be an excellent acquisition. More gold, and then once if we get that, we are just absolutely wrecking it after that. Tool I don't build many tool, tool makers though, so it doesn't seem like a very worthwhile investment. That is though. Gold mines. That. Okay, just go straight for that 15% extra from gold mines because we're going to have two of them and potentially three if we take Drakenhof. So 29 turns from now, we could have three gold mines. So that seems like a pretty good investment. Grimly. Not far away from Gimli, that. Brynbright. Dwarvish names are great, especially when you're Scottish. <laughs> Good names to say. Grimly Brimbright. <laughs> Ungrim Iron Fist. I love the, the name of this town as well. Kazit Urkolaz. Very good one. And who could forget Karak Kadrin? So, I don't know if I'll be able to take Mount Goombad. They might gar be garrisoning it, if they, garrisoning it. If they are, um, chances of me being able to take it are pretty slim. Might have to cheese it a little bit. But it's hard to cheese when you don't have any artillery, so I might have to wait for artillery. So, we'll check it out first of all, just see what the, what's going on down there. Extorted income. So, they don't appear to be... Oh, look, they lost... Oh, it's go time now. Look, they lost Grand Prix to... Grand Peak to Zufbar. Hey guys. Defensive Alliance. Oh, we have. We are already trading with you. Did not know. Did not know. Can they confederate with us? They can, but not yet. Let's get a Defensive Alliance then. Um. Yes. I don't really like them usually, but. I don't mind that with them. They're probably going to get us in war with Castle Drakenhof, but that's okay. We can deal with that. Because I'd like to confederate with them as soon as possible. Um, there's no point in moving, because I can just hop across here next turn. So let's not bother moving. Let's just recruit there on the spot. Good stuff. Let's build this without question. Oh, we could have had long beards. That ah, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I just hope because they took Grand Prix, I hope they don't build a big army here now. That's that that could happen. We'll see what happens. I'd love to get Mount Goombad. That would just change the tides so much. We could have two armies easily. We could probably afford two armies now, to be fair. But with Mount Goombad as well, that would be just so much better.
not it's not uh, usual for uh, Zufbar to to do well. Oh, look at that! They confederated. That's actually good for us. There's two reasons why that's good. One is that they'll no longer be at war with Zufbar, hopefully, and two, uh, so they won't move to take it and beat us to it. And two, they probably won't build a uh, an army there now. Less likely they'll build an army there because they'll have armies elsewhere. Where if that was the Bloody Spears' last town, you know they would have built an army there. So that's really good. I think. That's my thinking. Could be completely wrong. <laughs> I have no problem going to war with them. You always end up at war with them eventually. And Ungram is ready for duty. Let's jump over out before we do that. Let's replace him. No, you know what? I'll move first. Right there. Bosh. And then let's... You know what? This is pointless because I need to end the episode there. So, <laughs> And it's just saved as the turn passed. So um, yeah, I'll end the episode there. Next time we're definitely going to push on to Mount Gunbad with uh, what we've got here and try and take it um, to clear war on these orcs. I think we'll be successful, but you never know. Um, I thought I'd be successful over here, didn't I? And we saw how that turned out. <laughs> so... Um, Cool. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, subscribe and all the usual stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.